as they basically just gave Kenton the opportunity. And man, this team just doesn't need to be given any chances. Cornell to the end zone. 30 to 28, and the two point conversion here by Mock. And the ball game tied at 30. Basically, gift wrap by the guy wearing stripes who for some unforeseen reason saw some interference that nobody else saw. That's the first time since 0-0 that Kent managed to catch the Tigers. Tony Graham breaking this one to the outside. And the Tigers get it on their own 48-yard line. John Bartimas takes that ball down deep, but a clipping call brings that one back to first down and five. We saw one penalty flag in the first half of this game. And with the same teams out of the field, the officials totally changed it around and threw nine flags in the second half. David Rennish, a tremendous run right here for a score. The Tigers get it back. However, instead of, you know, in that last series where they were third and 46, and it's not to say they wouldn't have converted. Third and 46 is pretty tough. Without that score, Huron now goes up two right here. Instead, they've got a 36-30 lead. Rennish, just a great run after the catch. Extra point placement sails wide to the left, so the score stays at 36-30. Watch this run again by Renish after the catch. Picking out his blockers. Outstanding block right there by Graham, or that was Bartimas, rather. And then some nice moves, and still look at the blockers he's got downfield to lead him down the way. Paul Dents. They just had a host of white jerseys to team up for a 47-yard pass play and a 36-30 lead. Here's Cornell returning to the 33. Mock with all sorts of time. Firing the bomb again, and Pettit unable to come up with it. Great coverage downfield by Graham. And it would be second and 15 after the illegal procedure call. Third and 15. Fourth and 15. David Ball Howard running the ball from the Wildcats. Tigers taking over, first and 10. From the Kent 47. Dents for 18 yards. And another penalty flag would. Thank you, sir. Price Tony Graham is going Yeah, all right. Second down and two. Now, this is the one they call an illegal forward pass right here. Yeah, man, they was probably a pretty good call. I think Tony's argument here is that the wrong guy made the call. Well, they bring up third down and four. And Dennis would, or Rennish would pick up just enough for the first down. Now 
about third down and nine on the Kenton 35. And Dents amazingly again finding an open man, David Rennish, for a 10 yard pickup down to the 25. Bogdan for four. And then Dents for three. It would be third down and three. again. Hard to corral him and he's out of bounds on the nine for first down and goal. Bogdan stopped for nothing right here. Great effort but too many red shirts there. And that's where the third quarter would come to a close with the Tigers facing second down and goal on the Kenton nine yard line. And uh, one more wild and woolly quarter to go. Come back and join us as we come back with TW Teleproductions Game of the Week, fourth quarter action next. Mac. And here we go with our fourth quarter here in opening up with second down and goal on the nine yard line. And Robert Dent's taking it all the way down to the one. We're on third down and goal. Dents will finish it off. Robert Dents with the quarterback keeper into the end zone. Touchdown! Tigers would go for two right here to try and get back up to a 14-point spread and come up short on their pass to the flag. We'll take another look at Robert Dents off the play fake. As Dents takes it into the end zone and builds the Tiger lead to 42 to 30 with 11.23 left to go. That ball going out of bounds at the one, so Kenton would start on their own 35. This is a tough play to stop right here. That little inside screen to Brandon Cornell at 6'4, 230. He is a load to bring down. Second down and 10 on the Huron 48 yard line. Hawk that time stopped with only a two-yard pickup. And unfortunately, we couldn't do those two-yard pickups. Two downs in a row right here. And Hawk manages to carry for a first down on a nine-yard game. Third down and 10 on the Tiger 37. And all of these chances where you don't stop them here are going to loom very large in this fourth quarter. They picked up just enough right there for the first down to the Huron 27. The second down and eight. That was the one right there where Rich Durflinger came up with a ball. He would have been gone. And that would have been huge, but just couldn't quite get it. Went off his fingertips. 18-yard pickup for first down and goal to the seven-yard line. And Mock will find the freshman Tommy Pettit going against the grain for a seven-yard score. And the extra point placement would make this a 42-37 to contest with eight minutes and 31 seconds to play. Chuck Ingram taking the ball back to the 35-yard line for the Tigers. And immediately, Dent's hooking up with Tony Graham for 22. And you know, it's amazing. We're sitting here at this point, I think it's 42 to 37. And looking at this as a must score situation for the Tigers. They've already scored 42. You almost feel unfair saying that they got a score here. Jacob Link, a 28-yard pickup all the way down to the 13-yard line. But from there, the Tigers bogged down. Second and 13. Now third and 13. And on fourth and 13, the Tigers will go for the 33-yard field goal, but that time, it's going to be pulled just